Gotti. <laughs> Hey, yo, today I'm going to react it to JJ Olatunji. Jake Paul fight is canceled. First of all, we don't see what he means by this title. Second of all, bro, I just fucking saw a post on IG that Blueface's boxing match got canceled because of his little thing with his ex-girlfriend or his girlfriend, bro. That is ass. That is actually fucking ass, bro. Because I was kind of hyped to watch that fight too, bro. So I don't know if they're going to figure it out, sort it out. But it's looking like Blueface is not fighting August 27th with KSI. And it's fucking unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna see what happens. Um, But yeah, real quick. I have to say this, bro. This, this really pissed me off. Before recording this video, right? We about to get into it. I was recording Sidemen uh, 100,000 vs. 100 uh, USA edition, a holiday. My fucking mic was muted for the entire two hours, bro. And I didn't notice it. So that reaction will not be coming ever. Because I'm not sitting there for two hours watching it again and try to fake a reaction. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that. So that video is a no-go. If y'all were waiting for it, I'm sorry, but my fucking mic was muted. It's my fault. I didn't check to unmute the mic. Two hours, bruh. And it was a good fucking video. You win some, you lose some. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it, bro. Discord now. Join it. Crazy. Hey, what's up? It's your boy KSI. How are we all doing? Uh, today's a Reddit day, obviously. I'm still in camp, still training. You're probably wondering, how do I have the time to still do videos? Best believe, training is very hard, okay? Camp is very hard. I'm training twice a day and all this and all that, but I guess... Twice a day? I did so much more compared to how much I do now, if that makes sense. Now all I need to do yeah. is focus on me training. That's pretty much it. <laughs> So I see Canva as a holiday. It's weird. Anyway, be sure to get your tickets down below to see me knock out Alex Wasabi and see all the other fights. It's going to be an insane event. Obviously, my event is the only event that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, be sure to get your tickets down below to see the best event happening uh, on August 27th. Also, your boy has got his new song with Tom Grennan. No. Not over yet this Friday, ladies and gentlemen. The music video will blow your mind. I am so excited to do reactions of the reactions of my music video because people are going to be like, we what the fuck is this? Like, we react to man. boxing content. Also, at the end of the music video, we do a madness. Like, Don't spoil let's it. Let's just say everything comes together nicely. And Don't spoil it. It's exciting. Very exciting. Um, yeah, this Friday, it's coming out. Be sure to uh, get your pre-orders down below. Pre-order the song. Pre-order it down below. And uh, yeah, let's see what the Reddit is saying. Agree. Let's get uh, it. Sides plus Prime plus Sidemen Sunday. Incredible evening. It's yes. Like, mm, best believe after camp, your boy's going in on sides, man. I'm going in. It was so painful having to watch everyone eat sides during Sidemen shoots. And I'm just there like, oh, to just nibble here or nibble there <laughs> like i wasn't able to Fuck. indulge after camp after i win that fight <laughs> your boy's munching <laughs> give me them sides baby guinness world record what unreal sideman sunday this week my guy that's so random why <laughs> i don't understand how all these like brands now just have twitter and talk like normal yeah people. right right <laughs> It used Dead to be ass. so corporate. Now they're just like, sick Simon Sunday, bro. Who are you? <laughs> what are you doing? Nah, Simon Tinder was better when it was normal girls getting shocked by the Sidemen's pickup lines instead of a bunch of OF <laughs> getting their tits out for a side plus advert. Damn. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, He's not I wrong. Honestly, honestly, I wasn't expecting what I was expecting. The girls were very open. <laughs> yep. And yeah, let's just very. say you're a side plus member. You got a lot more than you bargained for. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big dub for you guys. Honestly, I don't think we'll be able to do another Simon Tinder anyway. I don't know how we would top that. How are we going to top girls showing their tits? <laughs> how are we going to top that? And you know, we had Simon Tinder. I mean, 
No, I don't. A tender, no. Maybe a 20v1 you can top, but this one, nah. Logan Paul in it. George was amazing on it. Uh, Mike was funny. You know, all the boys were funny. Like, it was top tier and it did the best. Like, over 10 million views in 24 hours. How many views is it on now, actually? Let me give it a look. 22 million. Oh my god. 22 million. Actually, let me give it a look. 20. Look at the fucking video right there, bro. This is the video I sat and watched with the fucking mic muted bro i'm so tight two million oh my god that was a good video million. i know some people maybe got annoyed at that fact but at the end of the day it's a video it's you know it's for entertainment purposes as long as you're entertained then cool like, either way yeah. 22 million views says a lot man <laughs> this was the worst face to face that i've seen in my life oh god okay here we go jesus this was the worst face to face that i've seen in my life i appreciate jj a lot and it's great that he's confident for his fight but jesus the face to face just started and jj goes on a five minute rant bro i was pumped some people thought i, I took coke before imagine if i did take <laughs> coke i'd be off the fucking chain man no i think because i was finally face to face and i could finally talk his shit speak to him whereas before like i've been trying to get in contact with him or be face to face when i was in america and he just wasn't having any of it so it was pissing me off literally the whole video was jj being the least humble person ever and constantly being me 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 and didn't even let alex answer any question properly uh i can tell you're a new fan <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yo <laughs> bro when it comes to boxing this is me. Like, normally, I'm very humble. I'm a very humble person. That's just me. Whenever I'm fighting someone, well, I'm not going to be humble. <laughs> I have another man who wants to beat me and take away exactly. everything that I've worked for. My whole legacy. He wants to ruin it. He wants to destroy it. I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> right. So I'm going to be cocky. Okay, I'm going to be super confident. I'm going to be me, me, me. And I'm not going to be humble about it. <laughs> it's just simple as that. This was exactly how Logan was behaving in all those press conferences. But I was the exact same as well. We were both clashing, clashing with each other. Um, before the second fight, Logan wasn't humble at all. Constantly interrupting JJ saying he would decapitate JJ. I did the exact same thing when it was a press conference in the UK. That was just me, bro. I gave him no time to speak. And now JJ's doing the exact same thing. Bro, JJ, good luck in the fight. And we'll always support you, but calm. Calm the fuck down. The fuck? Please be a little bit humble, JJ. That's the thing, too. When you're humble most of the time in your life and you, like, showboat a little bit or a lot of bit, whatever the case, when you showboat, when that humble side just is, isn't there for a, a minor second, people will be on your ass like this. Calm the fuck down. No, Crazy. man! No fuck! Why would I be calm? Oh, Guys, man. come on, bro. Holy shit, you want me to be like, yeah, I'm gonna be him. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I've worked harder than I've ever worked in my fucking life. Harder than the Joella fight. Harder than first Logan fight. Harder than the second Logan fight. I put 110% into this and you want me to be humble. You want me to be just like, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna- Just like Alex. In the ring and do my thing. No, man, I'm gonna tell him everything I'm gonna do and I'm gonna fuck him up. <laughs> and I'm gonna laugh at him in his face while I'm doing it. It was 30 minutes of JJ saying, you don't know what's coming for you, Alex. You're fucked because I don't think he does. I don't think he understands. He thinks I'm coming and swinging, bro. I'm not. I swear, this is so interesting that a lot of you are like, oh, why are you being like cocky or da 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 da? I feel like people have always seen this. I've always been like this. <laughs> That's changed. KSI versus Alex Wasabi leaked. Go charge this shiver, okay? We're gonna party like this shiver, okay? We're gonna sit down like this shiver, okay? And, and you know, we don't give up like that. Yeah, no, I just day. don't see Alex Wasabi having the power to knock me out he said that he'd been knocked down before i thought that was very interesting that he just openly said that i thought he wouldn't uh, admit that so fair play you know i gotta give him some props for that but yeah it's it's gonna be a long day for you alex i'm going to drown you it's going to be like <laughs> prime x arsenal w or l what do you mean w or l it's a fucking w obviously if you're a tottenham fan then it's an l but fuck <laughs> Massive W for JJ, so proud. Ah, uh, guys, thank you. Yeah, bro, this huge for me, man. I can't believe it. Legit, a childhood dream of mine. I, I just crazy. Bro, I can't even speak. <laughs> I can't even speak. Look, Arsenal are primed, fam. They're hydrated. They're 
They're smashing it. We beat Sevilla six 0 fam. It's dream come true, man. Dream come true. It's so crazy. Uh, so what's it going to be? Well, it was the Arsenal uh, Prime announcement, but I'm intrigued to know what you lot thought it could be. This got I'm about to shock the world vibes. Oh, I'm tweeting that before my fight. <laughs> I'll probably tweet it day of my fight. I'm here to fuck up this curse. Watch, watch. <laughs> oh, mate. Logan smashed SummerSlam. Smashed it. He did so fucking well, bro. He's, it just seems so natural. Bro, look at this. What the fuck? Oh, no, 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 no. Can we understand what the fuck is just happening right now? Right. He's SummerSlam, the biggest stage, bro, of the WWE. And he's out here just somersaulting the Miz. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine backflipping onto the Miz. What? Crazy. Great clothesline. Great body slam. Boom. Wait, killing it, good. Great crossbody. Hey, yo. And did again, he, just did he win? Onto him. Great, great flying elbow. And then this. Oh my God, bro. Did he win? I think he did. He won. Levels, levels, bro. It's levels. It's levels. Top notch, man. Top notch. So sick. Whoa, even Kanye agrees. There should be a new system where we submit the videos, and if you laugh, the person who submitted the video gets the money. Ooh, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. I don't know how we would do this, but not on the subreddit. He would make a new one because otherwise, people are going to start flooding this one with memes and videos which will cover this oh good point very good point okay all right mo let's figure this out how we can do this um, once we get to one thousand dollars per laugh after that video let's see if we can oh my see, god see he's going up idea. okay it's his money but come on me watching jj throw away money that can pay my monthly living expenses every time he wiggles <laughs> at tiktok <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're gonna hate the 1000 one then. Jesus Christ. Bro, 1000 <laughs> is wild. His life decisions. Bro, I was on his ass, man. I'm called the nightmare for a reason because Facts. I will drown you. Uh -huh. I will make you suffer. Uh -huh. Okay? I will be in your head. Bro, he, he looks like he's it. already over it. <laughs> yeah. He don't want to fight he's looking at like, oh, fuck, maybe this isn't a good idea. But then he's looking at the bag that he's getting and he's like, oh, actually, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I will be in your head. <laughs> over and over and over again even after the fight i will be in your <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy you wake up like, oh my god oh my god I, I just had a dream that i lost oh wait i did every day every day bro and then i'm gonna be there laughing at wasabi fucking hell man pause oh what is this the touching thing <laughs> Fusi said he was gonna touch <laughs> Deji like he's never touched anyone before. I'm like, but I don't think Deji's ever been touched in the way that I'm gonna touch him. Jesus. Um, you review all his fights. Fusi, chill. Pause. <laughs> Yo. He regrets choosing Talia over JJ. Holy, this is insane. KSI's ex reacts to Prime X Arsenal tier. <laughs> Bez has been kicked out, bro. Faith versus Mia. I, I, this is all blessed now, but yeah, the back and forth was uh was was intense <laughs> i didn't really understand the chair thing i get it now because ethan said he got stuck so i guess that's her being like there's no chair for ethan to get stuck on <laughs> Me and came through with this like all right move the chair doesn't matter never see someone take so much pride in being a home wrecker some people out here growing babies whilst others are here swallowing them i'm still gonna just sit on your ass look i'm sure faith's hormones through the roof she's currently pregnant and i'm sure she doesn't actually fucking mean everything that she's saying yeah like it's yeah. one of those things where it was just a bit of back and forth jj whenever youtubers are challenging him there we go i'm not just like the rest of you i'm stronger <laughs> i'm smarter <laughs> I'm better. I'm better. <laughs> I'm better. Oh, bro. You need to watch the boys. If you haven't watched the boys. Fire. Oh, my God. Fire. The best Fire. video series Fire. ever. So Fire. So good. So good, man. So good. I finished season three, and I'm just there like, Fire. please, I need more. <laughs> Give me season four. I don't know how Dead they ass. managed to just make it better each season, bro. 
Oh no, JJ making fun of cerebral palsy kid from Family Guy. All the fans with cerebral palsy watching him. Uh, don't, don't do that. He was dragging it, bro. I knew somebody was going to do this shit. Yeah. Okay. I knew somebody no, was no, going to make some no, shit. It's... Don't do that. Man, it's... dragged it, bro. God's sake. What's this? I made a 3D animated Prime Ice Pop commercial. What? <laughs> I'm just on the wayside. There's Prime, nice and chilled. <laughs> nice and chilled. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. That is hard. That is hard. <laughs> oh. Yo, you know what's crazy too? There's people out here with this kind of talent. But you got the big ass corporations, big businesses in the media that can make something like this and it's not even as good, bro. That was hard. That was hard. That was hard. <laughs> Mo, where was this guy when we were reviewing Prime Advertisement? Jeez. Ah, he got everything right! So the colors, the, the, the music! Listen, listen to the drop! He got the drop perfect! Wait for it! When the Prime comes up, it drops so nicely! Boom! Shut up, man! There's levels to this! There's levels to this! Bro, nah, man, I need to give you an award, man. That was amazing. I'm about to give you a platinum as well, my G. Bro, you know what? I might give you two platinums. Here's another. Here's another. Here's another platinum for you, bro. Oh, you think we done? No, 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 no. Yeah, yet another. Net, yet another platinum. You know what? One more, just for good measure. Just for good measure. Good measure. Platinum! Jesus Christ, that was insane. Big up Crystal Goat, man. That was so sick, bro. That was so sick. KSI is going to go hard on Alex. Why does that sound weirdly sexual? <laughs> I wake up and I'm just seeing Alex Wasabi and I'm just like, bro, I need to annihilate him. I just need, bro, oh, bro okay. you're just there every day. That's all, I think about. That's all I think about. I just need you on the floor. I need you okay. annihilated. I need to. With that music, it sounds much. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Alex just goes, yeah, what, you're going to fuck me hard, huh? You're going to fuck me, daddy? <laughs> oh, that would fuck me up, honestly. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I wonder how Deji's looking, because his opponent, he's... This video is still... Oh, what, bro, this guy's a pussy. Yeah, bro, that's, so that's funny. Not that much. Come on. I'm so much better than that other guy. Fuck this dude. Fuck the strange of things looking at me. <laughs> Wait, is it? Why does KSI have to be so freaking mean? Is this him responding? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, all right. Just kidding, KSI, you ugly looking scumbag. Oh, KSI, wow. But you said that I'm a pussy. Uh huh. Then I'll give you an offer. All right, I know I'm not big enough to fight you on the big stage. You don't. But whenever you're in LA, you can come fight me in my backyard. I have a whole boxing ring back there. Come fight me any day you want. In your backyard. Do I look like Joella? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't falling for that one. <laughs> if we were gonna spar, bro, we're sparring at a neutral place. Or I'll fly you over and we can spar. Fucking hell. It should be illegal for you to take that bandana off. With a hairline like that, nobody should have to look at that. Look at this. This this is what you look like, bud. You look like this guy? I kinda to be honest, I kinda do look like him a little bit. Why do I low key do look like him? Dead ass does. <laughs> you look like this guy. I definitely do not look like him. And you even look like this guy. Three ugly looking cunts. They all look just like you. Oh, wow. You fucking rat looking bitch. Wow. How are you going to feel after your brother Deji takes his fifth fucking loss to I'd, Fousey? I'd be... Big Foos. I'll be pretty pissed off. I can't lie, but it is what it is. It's on him. <laughs> <laughs> if he trains hard enough, he could smoke anyone. Deji, after my boy Fousey beats your fucking ass, I'd like to take a run at you. Same offer that oh I gave to your brother. God. We can do it in my backyard. Why do you want us to be in your backyard so much? What's in your backyard, bro? <laughs> no, I shoddy. haven't noticed, but... Oh, I'm yeah. My team team Paul attire. Cringe. Oh, you got the shorts as well. So cringe. I think it's appropriate for this video.
Surely you must feel like a dickhead. <laughs> Surely you're not there willingly happy to wear that. Jake calls your daddy. He just isn't. You're gonna fight Jake. You said that I look like a guy from Stranger Things. The only strange thing that I've seen lately is uh -huh. your mother bouncing on my dick in a full split. That just well, hasn't <laughs> happened, but okay. Well, KSI, if you want me, nice. you know where to find me. Let's cut to the clip. Oh, this is cringe. Low key. Right, let's see your skills. Okay, let's see what you're gonna do. Oh. Oh, okay, nice. So you still needed someone to help you out. <laughs> you didn't even get the first punch in. This right. guy did. <laughs> wow. Look at those punches. Crazy. Wow. Yeah. Great. Look at those punches. Bro, you see that punch? Hammering his shit. <laughs> Hammering his shit. Wow, he missed it, bro. He, he missed. missed. He missed. He missed the punch. You missed. You missed it. One of the shots. Where is it? Look at that. You missed. <laughs> That's tough. And then you fall on top of me. Wow, crazy, unbelievable. Man. Weird. I'm a bitch. In your backyard, always, always his backyard. What the fuck did I watch, man? Oh, but man's feelings got hurt. <laughs> right. This motherfucker, who the fuck is that? Yeah, who the, I don't even know his name. Motherfucker missed his punch. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news. Hasim Rahman Jr. pulled out of the fight. Well, he didn't actually pull out the fight. I'm pretty sure Jake Paul pulled out of the fight because Hasim didn't. Uh, enter the weight that Jake Paul wanted him to enter in. I guess JJ's tweet about Jake Paul versus Woodley 3 being on standby was right off the <laughs> Woodley's just there like, hey, yo, what? Round three? <laughs> hey, yo, what? You need me? I can get ready in a week. <laughs> yeah, folded, Jake bro. Paul ain't fighting. What an L. All this hype for there to be nothing. It's crazy. There was going to be Austin versus Gibb and Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury, both cancelled. And then now Jake Paul versus... Hasim cancelled. KSI versus Alex Wasabi is the Not only canceled. boxing YouTube event that's happening. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible scene. I think there's a couple reasons why uh, Jake Paul versus Hasim Rahman didn't happen. First of all, I think I think Dana White mentioned something like this. Uh, they weren't selling. There were still lots of tickets to be sold. It costs a lot to put the lights on at the MSG. <laughs> Facts. I just don't yeah. think Jake Paul could afford to fight at the MSG. He just... Bro, he doesn't have the clout like that. <laughs> he don't have the source like that. Especially to fight a nobody. For me, I can fight a nobody like Alex and sell out. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> oh, Jake Paul's out here charging $60. More than Usyk versus AJ. Do you know what you could do with $60? With $60, you could go to a nice restaurant. Go to the O2 to watch me annihilate Alex Wasabi. You could even buy my pay-per-view and still have money left over to buy snacks and drinks and whatever Jeez. the fuck you want. Yeah, you can literally same. buy Prime, buy sides, and watch the pay-per-view all in the comfort of your own home. Like, it was crazy. Jake Paul was literally robbing his audience. And some of his audience would actually pay for it. That's the sad thing. Yep. Some poor souls. Spending money getting scammed by this guy, fam. I can understand if it was a big fight. You versus Tommy Fury. Fine, $60. You know what? A lot of people are going to want to see that. But you versus Hasim. No. <laughs> $60? No. Also, to give Jake the benefit of the doubt, I think Hasim was trying to play a fast one. I think Hasim didn't give a fuck about the money. He just wanted to be that guy who beat Jake Paul. That guy who knocked out Jake Paul. And he wanted every advantage that he could get. Fair enough. You know, he tried it. End of the day, they both lost out because now yep. they're both just sitting at home <laughs> <laughs> with their dicks in their hands, making no money from the fight. Bro, you know what? That Jake Paul accepted my offer. He should have fought on my undercard. I mean, there's yep. no time. You can fight Tommy Fury on my undercard. It'll be a great event. You'll be able to fight Tommy Fury in a sold out O2 arena. You won't have to worry about the logistics. We'll sort everything and it'll be easy for you. All you need to- Look at that, bro. He's doing all this to somebody he hates or does, doesn't like, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's a real motherfucker, boy. You is show up. And that's it. Show up, weigh in, do a little press conference, and that's it. But it is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> that's tough. The Indians will fill this one. It's just amazing. Look at him. He is a bundle of joy. <laughs> he brings so much happiness. Yeah. 
fat son of a bitch. I don't give a fuck if I'm body shaming because he's fat as f <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the best part of the new Simon Sunday. Hi. Uh, I'm George. Nice to meet you. I'm 29. I hope you like candy. And if you do, come taste the rainbow. Oh. <laughs> Why is it always me that hurts? You said yes to a micro penis? Are you okay about forgetting? I love when they've got to surely show the part where he gets stuck. All his dance moves as well. So sick. He was so sick, bro. Yeah, yeah. George carried. The fuck out of this video, man. I mean, it was a good video anyway, but he just brought it to greatness. He <laughs> 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 was so sick, man. Big old George, man. He was so fucking <laughs> nice guy. You don't have what it takes to win a boxing fight. First of all, Deji, without a doubt, put in more work in this camp to get ready for this fight than he ever has before. He was in the best shape that anyone has seen him in. He put in the work. He lasted the entire fight and he showed heart through every bit of it. I believe that I fought the best Deji, the prime Deji. This is the best Deji has ever been. Uh oh. I don't know. I mean, Deji underestimated me too. He didn't put the work in. I think KSI is definitely going to put the work in. <laughs> <laughs> you played yourself. You played yourself. You played nice. yourself. Get ready for this fight. Wow. Ever has it's so funny because he's managing to deceive a lot of people. He's portraying that he's this really nice, happy guy that's just enjoying his time. But I think he's an absolute twat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think he comes through every now and then. But I just can't wait to get my hands on him, man. It's been so long. It's been years of back and forth. Years of back and forth. And now, finally, I get to silence this motherfucker, bro. Science. Yo. Anyway, anyway, this has been your boy KSI. Uh, it's not over yet. It's coming out this Friday. Big song. I'm excited. Friday. For you to hear it. Two and, days. Uh, yeah. Get your tickets down below. Go to Arena. KSI versus Alex Sasabi. Fusi versus Deji. And you ain't gonna wanna miss it. All right. Take care. And... Yo. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I applaud Logan for all how well he did at WWE. You could tell he trained for this matchup before and that he found his passion for sure. JJ is a prime example of just be yourself. Look how far he's come. People don't understand that he also has to sell the fight. Being humble never sells fights. 100%. That's why Connor made so much money and still has so much money. So much say in the UFC, even though he keeps losing. It's true. You know what I'm saying? I understand fans asking to be humble because they know how he really is and all but when it comes to boxing or high adrenaline sports you just have to believe in yourself fully even if you know that there isn't any chance of winning yeah again maybe alex is doing that shit he's just he knows he doesn't have a chance of winning but he's keeping it cool and i, I don't know i don't know bro the reason why it seems he's being too cocky or whatever not compared to logan fight is because alex is just a nice quiet guy logan was also clapping back being confident and that's what made jj not seem as cocky yeah that man was shut bro that interview it cost 500k just to turn on the lights at MSG and they haven't even sold a billy worth of tickets. Dana White. <laughs> Don't calm down, JJ. It's okay to be confident, especially when, when another man wants to punch your face in. You know what I'm saying? Especially that, bro. Somebody wants to beat your ass. You're going to be all nice to them? The fuck out of here, boy. <laughs> no cap. But yo, that's my reaction. If y'all enjoyed, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.